The Master Framework Knitters House and Workshop at 42 to 44 Bushlow End, Wigston, dates from the end of the 17th century. The random stone plinth supporting its external walls suggests that an earlier building, probably of the mid-16th century, had been of crook frame construction, with the remaining pair of timber crooks left standing on the west elevation and incorporated into the later brick building. The first building would have been a single-storey farmhouse, but its brick replacement was in two-storey form. The premises became used for the trade of framework knitting around 1764 and a second floor was added by 1780, shortly before the imposition of the brick tax in 1784. It applied to the cost of bricks by the thousand and so the size of bricks was increased in order to reduce the burden of the tax. The addition of an extra floor would have allowed for an increase in available floor space for the housing of more framework knitting machines, with room for other ancillary equipment storage. It is likely that the two-storey brick building, with its steeply pitched roof line, still visible on the east elevation, would have had a thatched roof. The addition of an extra floor saw the use of slates at a lower pitch, and that roof finish was used to cover the two-storey lean-to extension at the rear of the house when added around 1840. With ever-growing pressure for additional working space, a single-storey frame shop was added in the rear yard, to be replaced a century and a half later by the yarn room, which was completed in 2006 as an interpretation centre for the museum. An important development took place in 1890, when Joseph Truman, who had bought the premises in the previous year after a short tenancy, had a two-storey workshop built in the rear yard, opposite the earlier single-storey frame shop. This brick-built structure, with its distinctive set of windows, housed a further set of framework knitting machines. And when Joseph's son-in-law, Edgar Carter, died in 1952, the workshop was locked and left as a virtual time capsule. After the death of Edgar's daughter Grace in April 1986, the premises were sold to the local council. And, thanks to the efforts of a charity formed at that time, 42 to 44 Bushlow End became a museum with a unique collection of framework knitting machines in a traditional environment.